Welcome everybody. I am pleased to see you here. Let's start great expectations. But first, let me introduce myself. I am Yasin Ahmed Din Muhammad Al Said. I am in Al Hijaz International School. I am in Grade Five, Class Five B, and the supervision is done by my best teacher, Mr. Muhammad Yahi. Now, let's start Chapter One: A Present from a Stranger. One day, there was a boy named Philip. When he was young, he only managed to say Pip, so everybody called him Pip. Unfortunately, Pip's parents died when he was a baby, so he couldn't remember anything about them. The only thing he could do is to visit the church or the gravestones in the churchyard. It was not very far, only one mile away from the house. He lives with his sister, Mrs. Joe. And of course, it is married to uh, Mr. Joe, uh, Joe Georgery, the village blacksmith. One day, Pip was going to the churchyard to visit the graves as usual. Um, a very tall man, dressed all in grey, his clothes were torn, and also he had a chain on his leg. Appeared suddenly at him. And they told him, "If you say any word, I will cut your throat." Pip didn't say any word. He was very afraid. Until the man asked him some specific questions. "Who are you?" He said, "Pip, sir." Uh, "Do you live with your parents? Uh, where is your parents?" He pointed to the grave stones. So the man knew that they were dead. So he asked him, "With whom do you live?" I told with my with my sister, which is married to Joe Georgery, the village blacksmith. The man was very surprised, like blacksmith, because he had a chain on his leg. He want he wanted to break it. Now he put the child on a rock and told him, "Listen to me. Bring me a file." And some food, and don't tell anybody about this. And if you tell anybody, I will cut your heart out. Pip was very afraid of his words and ran very fast back to the home. His sister asked him, "Where were you all this time?" Pip said in a very gentle way, "I only went to the churchyard." His sister said, "Charge yard. You will send me to it one day." He was uh, M- Mr. Joe was very good and gentleman, but his sister was very tall and her face was red, and she was using her hands freely against Pip and also against her husband Joe. They ate lunch and Pip went to sleep. The next day, when like the sun rised a bit, he went very fast to the kitchen, and he thought, "We have enough food for the Christmas. So if I stole in like some different types of food, nobody will realize." So he got the following: number one, a pie of meat; number two, a brandy bottle of water, as he thought. And number three, he brought uh, uh, he brought cheese and also, of course, he brought bread. And he uh, stole the file from Joe Georgery's box, and he went back to the uh, to the churchyard one mile. Of course, it was easy, but hey, the weather was very foggy. But his memories. Used it. He used his memories, and he remembered the way the,、uh, he could go to the churchyard. So he went there, and he found the man, very tall, dressed in grey, the same as he, the man he、uh, saw. He touched him, but it was the wrong man. When he like turned to see Pip, he like got very afraid and ran very fast. Pip didn't know the face of the man he saw last time, so of course, when somebody run from you, you don't know him. So he continued walking, and he found the right man. He gave him the file. He gave him the food. This man ate the food very fast, but in the middle of eating, he Pip said something very strange. Fortunately, your partner is not hungry. The guy stopped eating and said, 
partner, but which partner? The guy said, I saw a man, all of him like you, tall, dressed in gray, clothes torn, and he had also a chain in his leg. Like this guy thought of, of also the other guy and knew him, and he wanted in a way to murder him. So he told him, give me the file, be quick. A Pip gave him the file and that like made Pip very scared and terrified. He gave him the file and when he was like putting it, he didn't see Pip. So Pip ran very, very, very fast back to the home. And this is the end of chapter one. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Bye bye.